Speaker, I rise today to do a little myth busting. Critics of the 21st Century Air Act are selling a myth that the 21st Century Air Act will be damaging and adverse to general aviation. This couldn't be further from the truth. I'm a regular general, av general aviation user, a student pilot. My brother-in-law is a GA pilot. I would never support legislation that would be bad for my rural communities and the airports in those communities. Let's address a few of those myths. The nonprofit service provider for air traffic control will be prohibited from charging user fees to any segment of general aviation in contrast to the myths that are being sold out there. The act also prohibits the ATC provider from restricting access to any airspace or any airport. Further, any changes to access to airports or airspace will be subject to extensive government review and approval. Additionally, funding is provided, additional funding to community airports to assist them and continue to grow and be vibrant in our communities. Critics would have you believe that general aviation will not have a seat at the table. Again, not true. The nonprofit board of directors designates a seat for community airports as it designates a seat for general aviation, lease pilots, air, uh, airlines, and air cargo. The FAA in a hearing indicated it would take another 10 years and $30 billion to update our air traffic control system from the archaic system we have now. When asked, they said they hoped they would have it accomplished in 10 years. Hope is not a plan. The Trump administration supports the 21st Century Air Act. Air traffic controllers support the 21st Century Air Act. Airline pilots support it. The airlines support it. Air cargo supports it. We can go through a long list. Yet we continue to deal with myths being spun out there that somehow this is adverse to aviation. We have an archaic air traffic control system that is hurting our nation, that is damaging our economy, and it's time to move beyond fear and myths Mr. Speaker, I urge colleagues to move beyond those myths and see that the 21st Century Air Act will benefit all users. Let's bring the bill to the floor, let's have a vote, and let's move our air traffic control system back. I yield back. Thank you.